The Harvard Crimson, a student-run newspaper out of Harvard, is now reporting that their president, embattled President Claudine Gay, is set to resign imminently, reporting she's planning to do so this afternoon. She's been in the position just six months. She's now facing lasting criticism of, about her inability, alleged inability, to manage anti-Semitism across the campus and protect Jewish students. Uh, she's also facing nearly 50 accusations of distinct incidents of plagiarism in her publications, her academic publications, all this coming to a head. It looks like this afternoon, Harvard Crimson and the Boston Globe are now reporting that she is going to step aside and announce her resignation. Joining us now, Harvard student Shabbos Kestenbaum. We've had him on the program before. Shabbos, we want to get your reaction to this. Yeah, it's it's um, it's stunning. I'm glad that this has happened, but it certainly took a lot of us uh, off guard. We weren't expecting this because the corporation was really digging itself into this DEI mandate whereby they can do no wrong. As you were introducing me, I got just got an email right now from Claudine Gay uh, saying that she is resigning. Mm -hmm. And I'm just quoting from the email. She said that she was, quote, subjected to personal attacks and threats fueled by racial animus. So no type of uh, personal responsibility, no apology, huh. but it's sort of water under the bridge at this point. Let this be a lesson to all those that are watching. Number one, don't mess with Jews. We're done with anti-Semitism. We're done with the crap. We're done with taking all of the hate and negativity and discrimination that we faced for hundreds of years. And certainly since October 7th, it's done. You come for us, we are going to strike back twice as hard. The second reaction I have is let this be a lesson for higher education. Let's make learning about learning again. Mm -hmm. Let's stop with this political theater. Let's stop with this social activism. Let's stop with this focus on race and ethnicity and identity. Let's talk about intellectual diversity. And I hope that this day, January 2nd, moving onwards can be a day where we can take into account the fact that learning matters, education matters, and taking a stand against hate and anti-Semitism also matters. Shabos, in some, some ways, it seems like, you know, what we've been seeing over the past couple of months with Claudine Gay digging in her heels, it's really just revealed, uh, you know, how entrenched these ideologies and the support that folks like Claudine Gay have on the campus. You know, we were just discussing how much support from professors, from students she had while she was refusing to resign. So what other changes on the heels of this resignation announcement from Claudine Gay do you want to see? Absolutely. The first and most obvious thing is the double standard when it comes to hatred against Jews, which has been given a free pass at Harvard and most uh, institutions of higher learning in this country. That needs to be over in the same way that if I were to, God forbid, have a, a, a racist insult or a homophobic or misogynistic comment towards a student, I would be disciplined. So, too, if you make an anti-Semitic uh, slur, if you call for the genocide of Jewish people, if you yell intifada at the faces of Jews trying to get to class, there will be consequences and there will be immediate consequences. That's number one. Number two, faculty who promote this DEI racial hierarchy, this, this uh, uh, victimhood o Olympics, um, they should not be not only promoted to senior tenure positions, but they should really be questioned as to whether their focus is on education or promoting, as I said, this political agenda. Students want to learn. And certainly I give credit, credit to Bill Ackman and Christopher Rufo and a lot of outside actors. But mm. let's be clear, this was a grassroots movement of students at Harvard, Jewish and non-Jewish, white and black, students themselves who said that they just want to learn and they don't want to be attacked for their religious beliefs. And that's something that unfortunately mm. has been given a free pass. Shabbos. So the most important thing is consequences matter. How, how concerned are you about the anti-Israel backlash on campus now that this is out? I mean, who's got their hand on the wheel over there to deal with the fallout from those who are not going to be happy about Claudine Gay resigning? Yeah, that, that's a great question, especially because I and many of my friends have already been called racist, because mm -hmm. I and many of my friends have already been called misogynistic, even when we're simply trying to defend the Jewish people. So that's a really important question, and that's why it's critical to have faculty, administration, uh, institutions like Harvard Hilla and Harvard Chabad, who are part of the conversation of what will Harvard look like the day after. Uh, these are critical questions, but again, this is an important step in the right direction. It sends a message that Harvard and institutions 
institutions of higher learning in the United States must take anti-Semitism seriously. But yeah, we cannot just allow there to be a Claudine Gay 2.0. Mm. We can't allow mm. Harvard to get a free pass and then for them to go back the very next day and install someone just like her. So there needs to be serious discussions. Jewish students need to be part of this discussion. Yes. We have not been part of this discussion until now. And that's super, super important. What you're talking about is accountability, not just removing the figurehead, but having some accountability for what has transpired and making sure, Shabbos, that there's a change going forward. We really appreciate you joining the program today, and we appreciate how vocal you have been on this subject. Thank you.